Thank you so much, John. Um, and thank you to everyone for inviting us. Uh, my name is Dawn Nolt, and as John said, I'm the P uh, professor of pediatric infectious diseases. Next slide. Dr. McCauley and I are going to uh, spend the next few minutes uh, talking about COVID-19 vaccines and how the J&J &J vaccine um, fits into the landscape. So these will be our objectives here. Next slide. I wanted to provide a brief overview of the current um, COVID-19 vaccines that are authorized. So the FDA has had minimal, minimum standards in order to grant authorization for COVID-19 vaccines. This is uh, during an ongoing pandemic. They needed 30,000 persons in the phase three trials. Goal efficacy for protection had to be at least 50%, and a minimum two month follow up had to occur after vaccine dosing in the recipients. Next slide. We have two platforms of vaccines. The mRNA vaccine, we all know, is um, a two dose vaccine. The manufacturers are Pfizer and Moderna. There are challenges in storage temperatures. They have demonstrated in clinical trials excellent efficacy and protection against severe disease and death. The authorization packets for these vaccines was submitted to the FDA in December 2020. And that's important because it gives a timeline uh, when these vaccines were studied. These were studied when variants were not circulating. Next slide. Now, in contrast, uh, the J&J &J vaccine um, is a vector viral vaccine. It's nice that it's single dose. Storage is similar to what we would use for other common vaccines that we are giving in childhood already. The, the trials have shown excellent efficacy and protection against severe disease and death. The FDA reviewed this in late February 2021. And it's notable that the J&J trial was conducted when variants were circulating, and that's why there may be a difference in the efficacy numbers. Next slide. So there's a perception from the lay media, and I think from our patients, that the J&J vaccine is less effective. But I would say, and most people, most experts would say that the results of the J&J phase three trials are really not comparable um, to the mRNA vaccine. There's no head-to-head -head trial. Um, they were conducted at different calendar times, uh, conducted over different geographic regions, and there were different circulating variants and a higher background incidence of infection. So next slide. The CDC recommendations are, next slide, that there is no preference for any of the three authorized vaccines. If for more information, I invite people to go to the CDC website on clinical considerations for vaccines. But at this time, the CDC, CDC, as well as other experts, they, there is no preference for any of the three authorized vaccines. 